On this video, we're going to demonstrate apply. Apply uses a point-to-point -point pattern to place a design along the path provided by a second pattern. As you can see, I have some circles and hearts on the screen. These are base patterns. To demonstrate apply, I need to use a point-to-point -point pattern, such as this one. A point-to-point -point pattern has to start on the left, end on the right, and be on a horizontal plane. So let's get started. To demonstrate apply, I'm going to use Jean Blanket Stitch Demo P2P, which stands for point-to-point. -point. I have selected this pattern, and then I'm going to left-click to select the base pattern go over and left click on apply pattern icon. You can see it applied the blanket stitch on the outside. I'm going to, to delete my original circle base pattern and it is selected automatically. So I'm gonna do my delete we delete that pattern because if you sew, it will sew that pattern first and then the jean stitch. And normally you don't want to do that base pattern. So I'm going to move over to this other base pattern circle. This time I'm going to reverse starting in with this icon and then do apply. As you can see, it did sew to the inside by reversing starting in of the base pattern. Again, the base pattern is selected, so I'm wanting to delete that so we don't sew that. The next demo, I want to change the size of this pattern. I'm going to left click on the pattern and, and go down and this time I'm going to make it one inch. I'm going to double the size of that. Enter. Left click on the original pattern and click apply. And you can see how they're separated and longer. My next demo, I'm going to select the heart as my base pattern. Go over to Crazy Heart Baseline, point to point, by Sharon Perry. Now I can go over to the icon for apply, and that put the hearts on the inside. Okay, now we need to delete that original pattern, the heart. I'm going to delete that. The next demonstration, I'm going to hold down my control key and select Crazy Heart Point to Point by Sharon Perry. Select, left click on the original pattern and apply. and delete the original. Now this is called concatenation, where you select two patterns. The first pattern you select starts off and then it'll alternate those two patterns. Now I'm going to go back and just select one pattern, which is the Statler one I drew the other day. And also left click on my base pattern and apply. As you can see here at the top of that pattern, I don't like the looks of that. 
Now, first of all, I used a large pattern to demonstrate that. Some patterns just does not work good in apply. But we can help this, so I really want this pattern. And I'm going to hold down my control and push Z, which is going to erase those. I can highlight the heart, base pattern, and I'm going to divide that by going to nodes, going to right click on the pink node and divide. And I right click to get rid of my nodes and select just half of that and this apply that. What, what apply does is calculates from one end of the pattern to the other. And by dividing it, I'm starting at the bottom and end there at the top. So if I select the other side and click apply, and I'm going to zoom in to show you that that looks better it's more symmetrical. So that demonstrates the apply function. Happy quilting.